the NCAA tournament and the Sweet 16 for the men's and women's college basketball squads. Both the men's and women's teams are still alive for the North Carolina Tar Heels. Let's start with the men. They played another college basketball power tonight. UCLA this evening in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This one's still going on in the second half. UCLA a slim lead 58 to 56 and Miami is at halftime. Another ACC team. Against Iowa State, they lead 32 to 29. As for the North Carolina women, they faced one seed South Carolina this evening in Greensboro in the Greensboro Coliseum. And unfortunately for the Heels, their season comes to an end. They fall 69 to 61. Jacksonville High School alum Kennedy Todd Williams, seven points for the Tar Heels. To the NBA, the Charlotte Hornets hosted the Utah Jazz this evening. Big game for Miles Bridges. Double-double for him, 26 points and 11 rebounds. Charlotte gets the win at home, 107 to 101. North side of Beaufort County product, Bam Adebayo and the Miami Heat hosted the New York Knicks this evening. Near double-double for Bam, 17 points, nine rebounds. But the Knickerbockers get the win on the road, 111 to 103. To college baseball, the ECU baseball team started a three-game home series with Virginia Commonwealth this evening. At 12 and 10 heading in, the Pirates still trying to find this team's identity. Bottom of the third, Ben Newton lays down a bunt. That scores Alec Makarevich. ECU leads four to nothing. Next batter, Ryder Giles hits a line drive right at the middle. That scores Zach Agnos and Josh Moylan. Another good night on the mound for Jake Kuchmaner. ECU wins big at home, 8-2 to start the series off on the right foot. Some sad news out of the college football world. Longtime college was, football was assistant player, coach Dave and, uh, Nickel has passed away. And it was away. just fun. To, I just I like to practice. It's just probably weird. Staff. Trayvon, at USC hey, as go, the associate right? hey, head coach me. for offense and an inside wide receivers coach. Nickel and Riley were both on East Carolina's coaching staff back in the early 2010s where Nickel served as the outside receivers coach while Riley was the offensive coordinator. USC has not released a cause of death, but it was known that Nickel had cancer. 